Scientists have made a groundbreaking discovery deep in a cave in South Africa, the bones of what looked to be a new human-like species. They're thought to be more than three million years old. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for a mind-boggling revelation that will send shockwaves through the scientific community and beyond. Today, we unveil some truly terrifying discoveries in Africa that have the potential to change everything we thought we knew. Brace yourselves as we delve into the depths of this groundbreaking finding that challenges our understanding of the world as we know it. Discovery of Homo Naled Deep within a cave in South Africa, scientists have made an astounding discovery, a new species of human ancestor that adds a perplexing new branch to our family tree. This remarkable find occurred years ago when two adventurous cavers, Stephen Tucker and Rick Hunter, ventured into Rising Star Cave about 30 miles northwest of Johannesburg. This cavern has been a popular destination for explorers since the 1960s, known for its intricate network of channels and caverns which have been extensively documented. Lee Berger, the lead scientist on this groundbreaking discovery, describes it as one of the most significant findings in human evolution allegedly. They discovered a fragment of a human lower jaw, complete with teeth among the bones. Upon examining the photos they took, scientists could immediately discern that these bones did not belong to a modern human. Certain characteristics, particularly those of the jawbone and teeth, appeared too primitive. More bones were visible in the photos, including the partially buried outline of a cranium. It seems that the remains represented a significant portion of a complete skeleton. Skulls, jaws, ribs, hundreds of teeth, a nearly complete foot and a hand with almost every bone intact were just a fraction of the astonishing finds. This incredible discovery has provided scientists with unprecedented material to study and analyze. It has opened up new avenues for understanding our evolutionary past and has ignited intense debates and discussions among experts worldwide. The Forest on Top of a Mountain in a world where untouched forests are increasingly rare, it seems improbable that such a pristine environment could still be discovered in the 21st century, free from human interference and exploitation. However, against all odds, a remarkable find became a reality when Dr. Julian Bayless, a Welsh researcher and conservation scientist, led a team of 28 individuals each chosen for their unique expertise on an expedition to the summit of Mount Lico. Dr. Bayless, an expert in butterflies and conservation, stumbled upon the forest atop the mountain while using Google Earth, a platform he had been utilizing for over 15 years to explore high-altitude rainforests in Africa. Determined to confirm the existence of this hidden paradise, Bayless transported a drone to the base of the towering 410-foot or 125-meter rock formation known as an Inselberg. The surrounding areas of Mount Lico are a mosaic of small-scale farms, tea and eucalyptus plantations, and woodlands. The team faced rivers to cross, dense foliage to machete through, and miles of rough dirt tracks to navigate. While the locals were aware of Mount Lico and utilizing the surrounding forest's natural resources, scaling the mountain's sheer walls remained an insurmountable challenge. It was believed that the land atop the mountain had likely remained untouched by human presence. However, the explorers would make an unexpected discovery, a collection of ancient pots partially buried near the source of the local stream. According to local accounts, no memory or legend existed of anyone climbing the mountain. The presence of these artifacts posed intriguing questions. How did the makers of these pots scale the precipitous cliff? Was the land surrounding Mount Lico higher in the past? Could soil analysis provide clues to their age? Goliath Frogs Frogs are creatures that can be found in various corners of the world. However, when encountering the extraordinary goliath frogs, most people are taken aback. As their name suggests, goliath frogs are giant amphibians native to Africa. In fact, they hold the prestigious title of being the world's largest frogs. These impressive creatures can grow up to a length of 12 and a half inches and weigh a staggering 7.2 pounds or 3.3 kilograms. Just imagine a frog the size of several house cats. Interestingly, goliath frogs don't start out that colossal. When they are tadpoles, they begin as regular-sized frog tadpoles. But as they develop, they keep growing, resulting in the magnificent adult goliath frog. 
blue stone. Italian geologist Angelo Patoni had a specific mission to assess the diamond-rich potential of a Kono region. However, his journey took an unexpected turn when he stumbled upon a remarkable discovery that others had overlooked. It was a stone captivating in its mystery and beauty. As Patoni delved into his study of the region, he encountered a local tribal chief named Shoba Tony, who presented him with an extraordinary blue stone. The stone's surface was adorned with enigmatic white lines, leaving Patoni in awe of its uniqueness. According to an ancient legend shared by Chief Tony, the area's diamond abundance had a divine explanation. It is said that God discovered an uprising among his angels and banished them to earth, where they transformed into statues. However, the angels did not descend alone. Many skies and stars fell alongside them, becoming intertwined with the earthly realm. Stonehenge Deep within Salisbury, England, stands the renowned collection of prehistoric stones, known as Stonehenge. While this ancient monument captivates the imagination of many, what remains largely unknown is that another Stonehenge exists in Africa, shrouded in equal mystery. Decades after its discovery by Western scientists, numerous aspects of this enigmatic African monument continue to baffle researchers. A staggering 1,053 stone circles and 28,931 monoliths have been unearthed. Notably, 93 of these circles have been designated as UNESCO World Heritage Sites, including the renowned Senegalese complex in Senegal and the Warnawasu and Kerbach complexes in the Gambia. That is it for this video. Which of these discoveries surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below.